I'll start it off and tell you about the stranger yeah. that, that that changed my life. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. And it's and it's nobody big. I knew the lady only for uh, uh, maybe a little while. I knew her though, and her name mm. is her name is Kathis Hall. If anybody knows who Kathis Hall is. She was mm. one of the most no nonsense black women that I've ever met in my life. But she was the one that explained to me. I used to think that I could be late places. Mm. I used to think that I could show up when I wanted to. I had that attitude of no sense of time. Mm. And she sat me down one time and she was telling me how good I am at what I do. And I'm. Um, I could get by in the world, but when it comes to the real world, I'm not ready for prime time. And she asked me, what time are prime time hours, Fred? And I was like, uh, you know what I'm saying? I really didn't know the answer. And she was like, again, I'm explaining to you, sir, you're not ready for prime time. Until you can learn to be on time punctual and be professional about what you're trying to accomplish in your life you'll never be ready for prime time changed my life man <clears throat> from 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 somebody being so straight to me and <clears throat> being dismissive of me like i don't you know you ain't ready i'll move on to somebody else that is ready <clears throat> she showed me that like my nonchalant attitude and the way I thought my wise fair attitude, I show up when I want to, you know, my hibbity bop bop. <laughs> nah, <laughs> she shut that down, dog. And let me know that there are people out there that ain't gonna tolerate that. And until then, it was like, I kind of like was skating by and getting through with stuff that I wanted to do, like how I wanted to do it. But she shut it down and let me know that uh, until you get serious about certain things, you ain't never going to be ready. And that changed my life, man. That changed my life. That's all I needed to hear consistently from her. I'm talking about from her locking the door when I'm late. You can't come in because you're late. She's looking at the clock doing this. Yeah. Changed my life, man. I stopped being late to stuff. Stopped taking it as my attitude is how it's supposed to be. And all of this, these people running a corporation, blah, blah, blah. They don't got to be playing with me. All of that. I learned all of that right then. Straight like mm. that, man. Let me know I ain't ready for prime okay. time. And until I'm ready for prime time, TV has certain times. Radio has certain times. All these things have certain times. They ain't got time to be waiting for you. Cause then it yeah. costs money. Everything, yeah. I learned so many lessons from her, man. Yeah, mm. she straightened Damn. me out, man. <laughs> she straightened me out, dog. And Kathis Hall is her name. And if anybody knows who Kathis Hall is, they'll tell you she didn't play. She ain't play. No nonsense, black woman, man. I respect her. So now the person is a stranger to me, but to the world, the person is not a stranger. So. Uh, Wallow from from Gillian Wallow, right? So I'm watching him, and this is when I first um, quit my job. Like I, I'm on my own now, yeah. bro. I'm scared. To, I'm scared to death. I'm scared, but I've never been too scared where I ain't gonna try anything. Yeah. So I always been um, a little nervous about it, but I was scared to death, bro. Like I'm tomorrow waking up early, losing sleep. Like how I'm a do this, I gotta pay the mortgage, I gotta do this, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, man. One day I turned that joint on. No, before that, Wallow told me everything you need is in your phone. So, example, if you need a motivational speaker, you got your phone right there. You need a lawyer, you can find it from your phone. You wanna know where to eat, you wanna do this, blah, blah, blah. You start using your phone. So, I'm listening to him like, all right, I need to start using my phone more. So, I, of course, now I start using my, my phone as my calendar to keep me in order what time I got to be certain places because I'm starting a business now. So it keeps me in a little order. He ain't know he, um, he helped me with that. So yeah. now I'm using my phone. So now he's my motivational speaker. So at a certain time of day, I would turn the phone on for the motivation because it's time for motivation. 
Right. So I would turn this on on that he stopped playing a song. Again, I'm going through this whole job, I'm nervous as hell. I hear the song. Now in the song, it's to give me goosebumps. Now I'm thinking about the song. I listen to that song damn near every day. And it was it was like it's called optimistic. Okay. And and it was like just keep your head to the sky, like keep going. Yeah. So it's like what you needed at that home. time for sure. Boy. Yeah, right yeah. on time. Right on time. Boy. Boy, I, I didn't even know I needed it. Yeah. I didn't know I needed it, bro. For real, bro. Damn, see, that's the thing. Damn, that that, that joke, right I mean, that's the yeah, thing that joke. right there. You didn't know, yeah. you didn't know, but you, that right there was what you needed. It's something, yeah. that, <laughs> it's something that you yeah. needed, man. Yeah. But he was, but he was my motivational speaker. He, he was the person I would listen to, to in the morning to get motivation. And he was listening to that joke, like, nah, every day you got to keep going and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. That's a big deal, man. That's yeah. Big. That, that, that's that, that's, that's one thing I could think of.